This one's a funny one. So the Bernstein Bears has been around for a long, very long time. Actually, yeah, let me check on this. It might actually say the date. 1985, so three years after I was born. So, about 32 years, the Bernstein Bears has been a bestseller and still is very famous at this point. So, what we want to do is we want to share with you some of the Bernstein Bears books. This one is Forget Their Manners. And this, if you can look at it, the dad doesn't have very good manners. So this points at us, being the dads. So, let's read and see what they learn in this. this the Bernstein Bears book is a book of all different types of uh, morals. There's a lot of morals to the story. This one, this is how it starts. So, there was trouble in the big tree house, down a summer dirt road, deep in the bear country. Trouble with manners. The bear family's trouble with manners was that they forgot them. So you can see they're yelling and fighting, and there's Mama Bear, just waiting. Not very happy. At first, it was just an occasional please or thank you that had been forgotten. Then there was a rude push without an excuse me. Then a reach across the table instead of a please pass the broccoli. You remember this, guys. You do it all the time. But you're actually doing a lot better. I know we've read this story a few times. Oh, actually, I don't know if I showed you the picture. So you can see he's reaching across the table. So here, they didn't say please or thank you. Here, it was a very rude shove. And then here, he's reaching across the table. Dad doesn't, doesn't see it. Uh, sister doesn't see it. But Mama, she definitely sees it. Mama Bear wasn't quite sure how or why it happened. But... She was sure of one thing. Whatever the reason, the Bear family had become a pushy, shoving, pushing, shoving, name-calling, and ill manner mess. Silly head, fuzzy brain, noodle puss. The kids shouting at each other. Those aren't very nice names. They're actually quite uh, weird names, but hey. I I've heard the silly head before. Fuzzy brain? Nope, never had that one. At the table, it was even worse. They were a grabbing, mouth stuffing, food fighting, picky, uh, uh, pick, kicking under the table, super mess. So here's them trying to steal the honey, throwing food around, and there's dad just sitting, nonchalant, which means not a care in the world. Of course, Mama Bear tried to correct brother and sister bear's behavior. She tried coaxing, which means she tried to talk to them. She tried complaining. That didn't help. She even tried shouting. Nope. She tried going to Papa for help, though it sometimes seemed as to Mama that he was part of the problem. Uh-oh. He might be part of the problem. Papa banged on the table and shouted as only he could shout, but nothing really seemed to do any good. Mama didn't like what was happening to her family. Not one bit. Something had to be done. But what? The best way to fight bad habits, she thought, was with good habits. Let's see, see what she has. Then she thought of a plan. She got a big piece of cardboard and a marker. At the top, of, she wrote, the Bear Family Politeness Plan. So you see, she's writing it on the, the cardboard. And now she's presenting it to the kids and her husband. When the plan was finished, she called the family meeting and showed it to Papa and the Cubs. Look at them. They're pretty nervous. What is this? Look, Papa actually looks somewhat uh, happy. But, let's see if he's that happy about it. It certainly got the Bear family's attention. Some of the things on here are the Bear family politeness plan, rudeness, and has a list of rude, 
rude remarks, and then penalties, and these are the penalties that you have if you're rude. Wow, okay, so let's see what she has. So, forget please or thank you, sweep the front steps. Pushing and shoving, beat two rugs. Interrupting, dust downstairs. Name calling, clean the cellar. Reaching across the table, clean yard. Playing with your food, wash the dishes. Rude noises, weed the garden. Oh, I like these. Should we do these at home? I think we should. Really? Okay. So, uh, we'll see. Put in the comments below what you think. Should we do these at the house? Banging doors, clean the attic. Forgetting, excuse me, empty the garbage. Or hogging the bathroom, really hogging the bathroom. Put out the trash. Mama's plan had a list of all the rude things she wanted to stop. Besides, each one was a penalty, a job or chore that went with it. If you forgot a please or thank you, you had to sweep the front steps. If you pushed or shoved, you had to beat two rugs. If you got caught name calling, you had to clean the whole cellar. I don't think that's a good, uh, those are good chores that I would want to do, so I would want to be polite. But let's see if it actually happened. But mama, sputtered the cubs, you're not being fair. You know what we think about fairness, there's no such thing. It seems to me, she said, that you're the ones who aren't being fair to yourselves or anyone else. That's what manners are all about, being fair and considerate. Manners are very important. They help us get along with each other. Why, without manners, your mama's absolutely right, interrupted Papa. He interrupted her. Thank you, Papa, for your comments. But interrupting is number three on the rude list, and the penalty is dusting downstairs, said Mama, as he, she handed her him a feather duster. So, he was trying to be, I guess, supportive, but he interrupted her, which is not supportive. So he got a chore. So as you can see, he's doing the chores, and the kids are talking. What are they talking about? Let's find out. Hmm, said brother. This looks serious. I think we better come up with a plan of our own, and we're going to do, we're going to be doing a lot of extra, or we're going to be doing a lot of extra chores. What sort of plan? asked sister. Well, he said, instead of just being polite, we'll be super polite. We'll please and thank you as much, as much, or so much that Mama will be fed up and call the whole thing off. Yes, said Sister. We'll be so polite, she won't be able to stand it. You think it's going to work? We'll see. They put their plan into action and they were super polite on the stairs. After you, sister dear, thank you, brother dear. In the hall, excuse me, brother dear, why certainly, uh, dear sister. And mom is actually looking very happy. Waiting for the bathroom, terribly sorry to have kept you waiting. Think nothing of it, my dear. Wow, super polite. Will it work? Is their plan working? But it didn't work the way they expected. Mama didn't get fed up at all. And after a while, brother and sister forgot about being super polite and were just polite. At the table, pass the honey, please. Certainly. In the rooms, would you like me to help you pick up your toys? Thank you very much. Holy cow, look at this. That's the, the table and this is in their room. Things are changing. In the yard. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. That's all right. No harm done. And it turned out that Mama had been right. Things did go more smoothly. Once they got into the good manner habits, they didn't even, uh, even, didn't even have to think about it. So left them in the yard. So... They basically started being polite, super polite, and it backfired on them because they were, 
ended up being very polite to each other. They learned, they taught themselves. But it wasn't so easy for Papa. He was the one who got fed up. It's a little harder to change habits when you're older. Looking at all dads. Um, when you're older. And he had to be quite, had to do a, quite a few extra chores for forgetting his manners. I'm glad to get out of the house, away from the politeness plan, he said as he drove the family along the highway on the trip to the supermarket. So it shows all the extra chores, and now they're finally getting out of the house. And he's happy because he's away from that politeness chart. Manners are courtesy, or manners and courtesy are just as important away from home, especially on the road, said Mama, as they stopped at a stop sign to let pedestrians and other cars pass. They help us drive safely. See, they're driving safely. Well, grumbled Papa, as they all went in the busy supermarket, I think you can have too much of a good thing. You've got to have common sense along with manners. Why, if you let everyone go ahead of you in the checkout, You'll never be, you'll be there forever. You see, they're at the supermarket and there's the checkout line. Is he right? And sometimes you have to interrupt. Excuse me, madam. He interrupted a shopper. But I believe you have a leaking bottle in your cart. The shopper thanked him for helping. So now he's being polite because he's saying I'm sorry to interrupt. And then he's helping them. So, did he actually learn? You see, he said, driving home, there's more to life than remembering your manners. Besides, manners are all right for cubs and mama bears. Bonk! Uh-oh, his car actually hit another car. But we papa bears have other things to think about. At that moment, the car in front stopped suddenly and Papa bumped into it. He was furious. Why that pinhead, uh, fiddle brain? Oh, he's using name calling. He snarled. Name calling, reminded sister. So his daughter reminded him of name calling. The penalty for name calling was cleaning the whole cellar. So Papa gritted his teeth and remembered his manners. And a good thing too, uh oh, because climbing out of the other car was the biggest, angriest bear he had ever seen. Uh oh, he's in trouble. But when the angry bear saw how polite Papa was, he remembered his manners too. He explained that he had stopped short because the mama duck and her ducklings had crossed in front of him. Then he and Papa Bear looked at their bumpers and saw that there was no harm that had been done. As you can see, the mama duck's uh, duck is bringing the babies across. If he didn't stop, he would have run over them. That would have been nice. As I was saying, Papa Bear, said Papa Bear, as they continued on their way, it's very important for us to remember our manners at all times and I want to thank you, sister, for remembering me, rem reminding me to remi uh, remember mine. <laughs> You're very welcome, I'm sure, said Sister Bear politely. The end, as they drove home. The moral of this story is remember to be nice and courteous to everyone. Manners are important. If you don't know them, ask, them your, ask your parents to teach you some manners. But it's as easy as please and thank you, uh, letting people go first if you're um, if you come to an intersection or the hallway at the same time, let someone pass. It's not going to take you much time, and it's going to make them and yourself so much happier. So in the end, you're making yourself happy by remembering your manners. So next time you have someone that's being angry with you, remember to be polite to them and learn like the Bernstein Bears. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a great night's sleep, sweet dreams, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.